And edges are, you know, it's the outside component. And this is the, the system that I use so often in all types of grass fishing all over, all over the country is fishing from the thickest parts to the less dense to all the way on the outside edge and repeat and repeat using a series of moving baits, of top waters, of drop baits like I'm using right now uh, to cover the water and try to intersect the fish. So don't, don't be intimidated by massive amounts of grass. Just try, try to, you know, use that system, use those different tools and, and, and be persistent with it. A lot of times guys will come out and, and try to attack some places like this and just give it a short period of time. But it requires a lot of time. It requires uh, time to dissect exactly how the grass is laid out to you know, understand how the fish are using it and how the bait is using it. But when you understand it, when you learn some of that and put some of those pieces of the puzzle together, it's gonna to be some of the best fishing that you could ever have. And it's the winning fishing. If you're a tournament guy, man, this is, you know, fishing amongst the grass in the warm seasons is just, a, it's where the tournaments are gonna be won. If you're not a tournament guy and you want to just catch the biggest fish that you can catch, you're going to be doing it here amongst the grass. And in particular, you know, eelgrass. Eelgrass is a great, great piece of habitat for fish to use, especially in this, this time of the season, this time of year. But how I'm working this bait is I'm, I'm using my 360. I see the edge. Visually, I can see the grass that's topped out and I can see the open water, but the 360 is really helping me just stay right where I need to be so I can throw my bait up into the grass and pop it out and uh, you know get it to the edge. That's what I'm trying to accomplish with this bait. Well, I was saying before about the, the edges, like edges is just a general term where the, the grass appears to be making a definitive line. But ah, man, there, there is no, in nature, there is nothing that clean. There is always something. There's always some irregularity. There's always a, a piece of the grass that sticks out further or a divot that cuts in. And those, those areas, those differences or what is going to concentrate the predators. So that's what you want to use. Now in clear water like this, we've got kind of overcast conditions right now. I can't see near as good as, as I could in, in you know, some brighter conditions. So I, I can't see what's coming. So sonar becomes extremely important in this scenario. But in brighter conditions, you can really target your areas and, and what grass is going to look like, it's going to look dark. It's going to look like a dark black spot off in the distance. And that's what you're going to be shooting for with your casts. Uh, this area, you see, uh, there's a lot of sand bottom. It appears light and the grass is going to be those darker patches. So that's what you're going to be targeting with your casts. Like that one there. Nice. Oh. oh, he thinks he's bigger than he is. Come on. Get up in here. All right. There we go. Outside edges of eelgrass using a, a Dean drink in that situation. But you can see we go, went through that process of fishing on top, fishing the less dense areas. And it wasn't until we got to the all the way out, all the way to the outside edges, and we scored a beautiful bass. Um, that's the process, guys. That's fishing eelgrass. These guys use it. This eelgrass has a lot of current in it. 
There's bait fish that are using it. We've got wind, current, clouds, overcast. These are excellent conditions to find fish, and we just found some fishing in the eelgrass. See you, buddy. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.